It is midnight. I should be out sucking people's blood. Instead, I am trapped here in this fluorescent hellhole. No. <laughs> The voltage is low. Well, uh. <laughs> Good evening, uh, Count uh, Dracula, is it? Yes! I am! Count Dracula! <laughs> well, I, uh, don't normally meet people at night time, but you said it was urgent, and heck, it's not every day I get to meet. Romanian nobility, am I right? <laughs> Romanian! <laughs> no, 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 hey, doctor. Um, in my country, we enslave Romanians. We lock them in our dungeons. We hunt the women and children for sport. <laughs> no, 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 head doctor. I am Transylvanian from Transylvania. I see. Well, I had a, a sister in law who was from Pennsylvania. <laughs> she was half Amish, said the countryside was to die for. It is to die for, but I am not from Pennsylvania. I would not be caught dead in Pennsylvania. <laughs> It is Transylvania that I call my home. Say it with me, Herr Doctor. Transylvania. Yes, Transylvania. <laughs> Good. Now I have come to you today because of a terrible issue. Whenever I suck on a juicy, tangible vessel, I get the most excruciating pain in my upper left custard. I am 375 years old! Come Tuesday, as a matter of fact. <laughs> I have never felt this kind of exquisite pain and agony like this before. Never! Part of me wishes to revel in it, to delight in my once human suffering. But then, the other part of me is very hungry. <laughs> so, very pitifully hungry. I must feast, Herr Doctor. But with this unyielding misery in my left fang, I cannot even begin to think of sucking on another pulsating, beautiful, throbbing Adam's apple. Without blood, I will surely fade away into nothing. Without sustenance, I am, will be. No more. Oh, Herr Doctor, you must help me. Oh, I beg of you. Oh, wow. <laughs> Since you drink blood, it's probably a good thing, because my first recommendation would be an all-liquid diet. <laughs> yes, 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 Herr Doctor, but you see, I need to suck the blood out of my vacuum first, and to do so, I need my teeth. I see. Well, let's see what we can do here. Open wide. No, 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 no. Is that sterilized? Of course. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is that silver? No, stainless steel. Okie dokie. <laughs> No, it's not a wooden state either. It's just a mirror. Very. <laughs> you know a mirror won't work on me. I am a Dracula! <laughs> Relax. All right. It's going to be perfectly fine. All of my tools are sterilized. I don't have any silver or wooden sticks, okay? I mean, it's going to be fine. Now just open wide and relax. All right. All right? Uh -huh. Oh, no, 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 I'm so sorry. My tooth is sensitive. No. I'm not kidding. You almost took my arm off. I did, not, I did not mean to. I did not mean to. I, it was an impulse reaction. Ow, that hurt. I'm bleeding all over the place. You can't go around biting people 
people like that. <laughs> if you let me lick it, I can clean it for you. <laughs> Ew, that's gross. I've got cleaning solution right over here. No, 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 doctor. no, 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 brushed your teeth. I can see blood stains all on your back molders, and there are hair follicles and, and pieces of skin jammed up in between them. You got it. Yes. It's no wonder why your gums are irritated. It's a known fact that rotting human flesh can cause serious inflammation of the gum lines. If left untreated, it can lead to plaque bleeding gums, and eventually gingivitis. Gingivitis? <laughs> but is, is that even possible? What's the end there? Oh, sure it is. I mean, nearly 15% of living people are suffering from gingivitis. I don't know the exact statistics for non-living people, but it's got to be pretty similar. <laughs> but the good news is that it is treatable. It is. Oh, yeah. But I'm going to have to let me give you a proper claim. I'm afraid I can't do that if you're going to keep biting me like that. Yes, uh, doctor. I, um, I, I, I apologize. I, I will do better, I promise. Okay. But there is one thing I, I'm confused about. You keep calling me a hair doctor, but in actuality, I'm a tooth doctor. It's a much different thing. <laughs> no, 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 doctor. Um, hair is a Transylvanian greeting. It means Mr. Mr. Doctor. Yes, it does sound ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's okay. I mean, who am I to, to judge your ancient traditions? You just relax, sit back, and we'll get to work. Uh, where the hell did you get that? <laughs> I also work on four-year-olds, too. <laughs> you think you're a biter. <laughs> Wait till you meet little Mikey Stoll. <laughs> Every time I meet with that kid, I need to have a tetanus shot afterwards. <laughs> Is he a, um, hypo little boy? Oh, yeah. You know, if you give me his address, I, I, I can teach him how to bite. Um, no, we've got hippo laws, I'm afraid, so I can't do that, but sure would like to arrange a meeting if I could. Now, open wide, let's have a look here. Eat before you gave me a 
Burrowed Canal. 